Hi, I'm Jerry James Stone. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the difference between jam versus jelly. Do you know the difference? Okay, so, well, if you just answered, I can't hear you, this is a video, people. Anyway, let's get to the topic. Jam versus jelly, what's the difference? So jam is typically chopped or crushed fruit that's cooked in sugar and pectin, usually more sugar than fruit, until it's nice and thickened. Jam is also what we typically use in, you know, peanut butter sandwiches, PB&Js, even though, you know, they say jelly, it's typically jam. It's also used in pastries and cakes. Unlike preserves or jam, jelly has no fruit. It's actually just the fruit juice. Because it's just the liquid and not the fruit, that means it actually requires a lot more pectin to get that to set. So in fruit, usually the fruit pectin, along with the additional pectin, is what causes a jam to set. But because you don't have that fruit in there, jelly requires a whole lot more. But just like jams, jellies actually are a lot more sugar than fruit also. That's the great thing about making a quick refrigerator jam that I personally like. When you do that, you get to control the sugar. That consistency doesn't matter because you're only gonna be able to keep that for about three weeks versus a typical store-bought product which can last a lot longer, but there's a lot more sugar in there. One benefit of jellies is they can kind of be used as a glaze. So you can thin them out and use it to put as a glaze on a cheesecake or other desserts. Because of the lack of fruit, they are a lot more pliable. That is one benefit of them. Wanna know more things like this? Hey, I release new videos every single week. So give me a thumbs up if you like this one. And if there's something that you wanna see, drop a comment below. I'll see you guys next time.